Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, January 16th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 16, the first way of service continued. Tertiaries recognize the power of intercessory prayer for furthering the purposes of God's kingdom, and therefore seek a deepening communion with God in personal devotion, and constantly intercede for the needs of His Church and His world. Those of us who have much time at their disposal give prayer a large part in their daily lives. Those of us with less time must not fail to see the importance of prayer, and to guard the time we have allotted to it from interruption. <clears throat> Lastly, we are encouraged to avail ourselves of the Sacrament of Reconciliation, through which the burden of past sin and failure is lifted, and peace and hope restored. O God, you resist the proud, and give grace to the humble. Help us not to think proudly, but to serve you with humility that pleases you, so we may walk in the steps of your servant Francis, and receive the gifts of your grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, Open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. God rules over all the earth. O come, let us worship. The Vanity Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. O oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms 100, I'm sorry, Psalms 26 and Psalm 28. Give judgment for me, O Lord, for I have lived with integrity. I have trusted in the Lord and have not faltered. Test me, O Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind, for your love is before my eyes. I have walked faithfully with you. I have not sat with the worthless, nor do I consort with the deceitful. I have hated the company of evildoers. I will not sit down with the wicked. I will wash my hands in innocence, O Lord, that I may go in procession around your altar, singing aloud, singing aloud a song of thanksgiving and recounting all your wonderful deeds. Lord, I love the house in which you dwell and the place where your glory abides. Do not sweep me away with sinners, nor my life with those who thirst for blood, whose hands are full of evil plots, and the right hand full of bribes. As for me, I will live with integrity. Redeem me, O Lord, and have pity on me. My foot stands on level ground. In the full assembly, I will bless the Lord. O Lord, I call to you, my rock, do not be deaf to my cry, lest, if you do not hear me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my prayer when I cry out to you, when I lift up my hands to your holy of holies. Do not snatch me away with the wicked or with the evildoers, who speak peacefully with their neighbors while strife is in their hearts. Repay them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their actions. According to the work of their hands repay them and give them their just deserts. They have no understanding of the Lord's doings nor of the works of his hands. Therefore he will break them down and not build them up. Blessed is the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my prayer. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and I have been helped. Therefore my heart dances for joy, and, my so and in my song I will praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a safe refuge for his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them and carry them forever. Blessed are you, strong shepherd of your people. You hear us when we lift up our hands in prayer. And through your Son, Jesus Christ, you give us the promise of an eternal inheritance. Blessed are you forever. Amen.
<coughs> the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who believe in him are not condemned, but those who do not believe are condemned already, because they have not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment, that the light has come into the world, and people love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. For all who do evil hate the light, and do not come into the light, so that their deeds may not be exposed. But those who do what is true come to the light, so that may be clearly seen that their deeds have been done in God. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray first for the Church throughout the world, for the Anglican Communion, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. We also pray for our leaders, for our Bishop-elect Rachel, our Metropolitan Greg, our National Indigenous Archbishop Chris, our Primate Linda, and the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin. <coughs> Excuse me. O Lord, guard and direct your church in the way of unity, service, and praise. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the world. We pray for those places that this day suffer from warfare, famine, <coughs> disease, <coughs> or human or natural disasters. We most especially pray for Palestine, Israel, Russia, and Ukraine. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who this day will suffer from the effects of systemic racism or prejudice. We pray for those who will be seen as unwanted, unwelcome, or not seen at all. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who this day will suffer from the effects of poverty or homelessness, those who will struggle to find their daily bread in this land of plenty. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise, that all may share the good things you provide. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, for those in our hospital, our nursing homes, any awaiting surgery, recovering from it, or suffering from other long-term health issues, mental health issues, addictions, or isolation. We also give thanks for our healers, for our first responders, our doctors, nurses, and medical technicians, researchers and scientists, social workers and mental health workers. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. Lord, hear our prayer. <coughs> we pray for those who this day are fearful 
We're troubled by the world, by the economy, by politics, those who are having family issues, those who are struggling with loneliness. Set free all who are bound by fear and despair. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying, and your comfort to those who mourn. Lord, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the third order this morning, we pray for the African province, for Cape Town, Port Elizabeth, and Lesotho. And we pray for Nadine, Tanya, Judith, Yare, Marty, Aldacio, Lucy, Suzanne, Charlie, Francis, Dennis, Laurel, Ed, Norberta, Vanessa, Beverly, Niambi, Jorge, Debbie, Peter, David, Carlos, Jay, and our companions Tamara, Patricia, and Katie. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Almighty God, your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, is the light of the world. May your people, illumined by your word and sacraments, shine with radiance of his glory, that he may be known, worshipped, and obeyed to the ends of the earth, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. May our blessed lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen. <clears throat>